In the era of the space shuttle, if you wanted to put one kilogram of a payload into orbit, it would cost you roughly $25,000. That is roughly the price of a brand new car for a weight equivalent to a bag of sugar. At that price, space data centers are actually impossible. Then came the SpaceX and the Falcon 9, and they figured out how to land the booster and then bring it back and reuse it. That actually dropped the cost to about 2,700 per kilogram. If I'm doing the math correctly, that is actually a 10 times reduction. That is why we have Starlink today. But what happens next? This is what makes the people at Google and Microsoft sit up and pay attention. And it's called Starship. Remember that name. If that giant silver rocket works as promised, and we are seeing it fly, the cost could drop to roughly around $100 or $200 per kilogram. Suddenly, you do not need to build tiny specialized jewel boxes of satellites. You can launch heavy, cheap, standard hardware. You can launch water tanks for shielding. You can launch massive heat radiators. The tyranny of the rocket equation, or the tyranny, however you say it, is loosening its grip, and this changes the why. It's no longer just about backing up data, it's about offloading the burden. Think about the Industrial Revolution because we built factories in the middle of our cities. London was choked with smog and Pittsburgh was black with soot. Eventually we realized that was a bad idea and we moved those heavy industries out of the city centers. And now we're realizing that Earth is the ultimate city center.